benzocaine spray, lotion, or cream. All contain benzocaine, medication used by doctors. Stop skin pain with Solarcane. For minor burns, cuts, and scrapes. Solarcane. The Detroit Tigers defeated the St. Louis Cardinals today in the fifth game of the World Series by the score of 5-3. to three. The Cardinals lead the series three games to two. The sixth game will be played Wednesday in St. Louis. The Cardinals were leading three to two in the seventh inning when the Tigers loaded the bases and Al Kaline, playing in his first World Series after 16 years as a Detroit star, came to bat against relief pitcher Joe Horner. Bases loaded, one out. Cardinals lead by a run in the seventh inning. single his last time up. There's a drive into right center, a base hit for Kaline, a run in. There's another one coming in. And the Tigers have taken the lead. This crowd of 53,654 standing in a roaring salute to Kaline and the Tigers right now. Pitch to Cash. Ground ball, right field, base hit. That put Detroit ahead 5-3. to three. Then in the ninth inning, St. Louis got two men on base with one out. Tiger pitcher Mickey Lolich faced pinch hitter Roger Maris. Or can you imagine the pressure he's under? He's got to get him out to continue this World Series. The next batter was Lou Brock, who already had three hits in the game. Here's a tap to the pitcher. It should be over. Over to Cash, and it's all over. Before today's game, the national anthem was sung by the young, blind soul singer, Jose Feliciano, who accompanied himself on the guitar. His rendition of the Star Spangled Banner was not a traditional one, and it caused many people to protest. Here is the way Feliciano sang the song. Feliciano, a 23-year-old Puerto Rican, had this to say. I just do my thing, what I feel. I was afraid people would misconstrue it and say I'm making fun of it, but I'm not. It's the way I feel. Good night, David. Good night, Chet. And good night for NBC News. They step into 15,000 watts of light wearing $6,000 worth of silk and sequins, and their sound sets the room on fire. That's the emotion-packed, high-pressure world of Diana Ross and the Supremes, and their special talent sets them apart on 